Welcome. Um, this lesson today is um, from Module 3, and this is our <clears throat> third lesson, um, which details um, writing equations um, from a word problem. And specifically, these are going to be quadratic equations. Okay, so um, let's see what we can come up with here. So, for the first opening exercise, we are told that the length of a rectangle is 5 inches more than twice a number. The width is 4 inches less than the same number. So again, a number we don't know what we're talking about here, x. And since it's the same number, we can also use an x here too. The perimeter of the rectangle is, 100, is 44 inches. Okay, good to know, perimeter. Sketch a diagram of the situation, find the unknown number. Okay, so rectangle, something like that. The length is five inches more than twice a number. So five inches more than twice a number, just like that. The width is four inches less than the same number. So four inches less than the same number, is that right? No, that's x inches less than four. We need to flip this around. Four inches less than x would be that. Okay, so if that's x, this would be four inches less than x. Now, what about the other dimensions, right? Well, it's a rectangle, so what does this dimension here have to be? Gotta be x minus four. Okay, and what's this dimension have to be? Also, across from it is the five plus two x. Okay, now, how do we relate all of these things? Well, we're told that the perimeter of the rectangle is 44 inches. What does the perimeter of any shape, what does the perimeter measure? Perimeter measures the distance around the outside. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to find the distance around the outside, which just means we're gonna add up all four of these sides. So it'll be x minus four plus five plus two x plus another x minus four plus another five plus two x, and that's gotta equal the perimeter of 44. And now we have an equation we can just solve. Let's combine all of our like terms here. So we have an x, a two x, an x, and a two x, which makes six x total. So we got all those. And we have a minus four and a five and a minus four and a five. So minus four plus five will be one. Minus four will be negative three, plus five will be plus two. And so you get 44. And now we just solve. So subtract two on both sides. Six x equals 42. Divide both sides by six. X is seven. Find the unknown number. So the unknown number is seven. That one, isn't, that one wasn't even quadratic, so hopefully this next one will be. The length of a rectangle is five inches more than twice a number. Again, so unknown number, we'll call it x. The width is four inches less than the same number. If the area of the rectangle is 15 inches squared, find the unknown number. Okay, let's do this. So length of the rectangle is five inches more than twice a number. And we'll go ahead and draw a picture here. It doesn't say to do that, but let's go ahead and do it just to kind of help ourselves out. Okay, five more than twice a number. Go ahead, write out what you think that would represent in um, algebra. Five more than twice a number. Okay, so five plus two x, right? <clears throat> Next, the width is four inches less than the same number. So four inches less than the same number, well there's the same number, four inches less than that would be x minus four. And so here's what the other sides would be too. Again, because it's a rectangle, opposite sides are the same. All right, so now area of the rectangle is 15 inches squared. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Area is length times width. So the area here would be x minus four times five plus two x. Okay, and we know what the area is, it's 15 inches squared. So let's go ahead and just put that in here. Okay, you don't need to put in the square or anything like that. That's part of the units. The number, the value of the area is just 15. So we're just gonna put the 15 in there. It doesn't need to be squared or anything like that. Okay. All right, next here, <clears throat> um, we wanna multiply this out, okay? We can't set each one of these equal to 15 because remember there is no 15 product property, right? When two numbers multiply to make 15, that does not mean they have to equal 15 but we need this to be equal to zero to use the zero product property. In order to do that, in order to subtract the 15 over to here, well, we really need to have this all multiplied out over here. So let's multiply it out. So x times five, x times two x is gonna give us a two x squared and then a five x and then minus four times five and minus four times two x, so minus eight x minus 20. I kind of did these a little bit out of order, but I wanted to try and just put them, you know, 
<coughs> um, in the normal order that we're used to. And that's equal to 15. Okay, so we'll subtract the 15 over here. So it's equal to zero. I'll go ahead and also combine the negative five and the negative eight, so negative three x, and then negative 20 minus 15 is negative 35. And now we try to factor here. There's no GCF, unfortunately. unfortunately. So we use the AC method. So AC, two times negative 35 is negative 70. And then we want to add to negative three. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 70, but add to negative three. Well, that's going to be um, negative 10 and positive seven. Okay, so when we break up that minus three, we break it up using the positive 10 and the negative, or positive seven and negative 10. And now we group the first two and group the second two. From this first group here, we can take out an X, a GCF of X. In the second group, we can take out a negative five. You see we have the same leftovers of the two X plus seven, so we can take that out one more time here. And we're left with the X and the minus five. And now we'll set each one of those equal to zero using the zero product property. And so we'll get two X equals negative seven or X equals negative seven over two. And we'll have um, X equals five. Okay, remember in our last lesson, lesson two, we were asked to determine whether answers make sense in the context. Do both of these answers make sense in the context of lengths of sides? The answer is no. That negative seven halves, if you plug it in to like that width right there, you're gonna end up with a negative width, which doesn't make sense for a rectangle. Whereas if you plug the five in, you'll get five minus four, which is one for the width, and five times two plus five will be 15 for the length. Those make sense. So just this one is our answer. Okay? Alright, in the next video we will continue on.